nyo and and yung so makinig kayo mabuti no para masagot ninyo yung mga questions na ating i-discuss dito. Okay? Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so yun nga, ito naman yung inyong mga kailangan matutunan no, within our discussions. Okay, so yung part A niyan, kung titignan nyo, kailangan yung i-drawing. So nag-send ako, meron naman tayo doon. Diba, drawing nyo lang yun. Then i-upload nyo doon sa ipopost ko na activity. So meron doon para doon ko nag grade -in. okay? So, draw nyo lang. Lagyan nyo ng simple na description kung ano ba yung function and parts no, ng iba't iba nung Benson Burner. So, ito. Supposedly, lighting the burner. Ayan. So, sabi ko sa inyo, di ba? May dalawa. Air hole is closed and air hole is open. So, paano ba yan? Sample ko. Drawing tayo. Try natin. Ay, hirap lang mag-drawing sa mouse, ha? Ako na. Okay. So, sa tingin nyo, okay, type nyo kung, na, kung hindi kayo makapag-speak, no? Uh, kapag nakabukas yung open, ay, nakabukas, nakabukas yung hole, anong flame yung magiging kulay niya? Diba sabi ko blue? Diba? Ta yun yung sabi ko, kulay blue. Pag naman sarado yan, okay, sarado yung hole. Okay. Wala yellow. So, ano sa tingin niyo yung mas mainit? Yung yellow flame or yung blue flame? Wala wala nang chat-chat. Naririnig niyo ba ako? Ah, uh, anyone? Kundi tatawag ako kapag walang sumagot. Ano yung mas mainit, blue or yellow? Ayan natin. Mahihiya akong magsalita. Trisha Faye Malyari. Nadyan ka pa? Trisha? Hello po. Ah, hello. Yes. Anong kulay? Anong yung mas mainit? Yung blue or yung yellow? Ay, may getchat na pala. Blue, blue, blue. Okay. Yep, oh, biglang nag-unstable ang aking internet. So, thank you for noticing. Okay, so, blue. Tama, no? Blue yung ating mas mainit. So, for example, sa bahay ninyo, di ba? Magluto kayo na gamit, kandila. O kaya, magluto kayo gamit naman yung inyong mga stove. Di ba yung stove natin? Kulay blue yun yung labas niyan. Uh, Nakapansin nyo, mas mabilis magluto kapag yung stove ang ginap natin kaysa kandila. Yep, yep, yan, yan. Thank you no sa mga nagsagot. Okay. So mapansin natin, yeah, mas mainit 'yan. Halimbawa, paubos na yung gas ninyo. Normally nagiging parang medyo madilaw na, hindi na siya pure blue. So mas mahirap din. Yep, mahirap magsaing, mahirap magluto, mahirap kumulo yung tubig kapag ganoon yung flame natin. Kasi nga mas mainit. Okay, mas mainit yung kulay blue. So bakit siya mas mainit? Yan yung magas magandang tanong, di ba? Bakit ba siya mas mainit? So, sa so pag-create kasi natin ng flame, no? I think tatandaan natin. May tatlong napakahalaga when we're creating flame. Ano yung tatlo na yan? Okay. So, ang tawag natin dito ay fire triangle. So, ano-ano yan? Ano yung mahalaga na yan? Oxygen, fuel, tapos heat. Okay? Pagkulang sa mga yan, di tayo makakapag-create ng flame or ng fire. Okay, so yung tatlo na yan, napakalaga niya na. O kulitin ko, oxygen, fuel, and heat. So halimbawa, sa bahay ninyo, nagluto kayo sa kalan, kalang di uling. Ang fuel nyo doon, yung uling, or yung charcoal. Yung heat, kung ano may ginamit nyo, lighter, source of heat yan, di ba? Lighter, posporo, okay, spark. Sa mga LPG, may spark yan, di ba? Kapag sinisindihan natin, may spark siya na mag-produce, eh, bago tayong produce ng flame. Oxygen all around us. 
Nakai, bilang natin nakikita pero andiyan 'yan, 'di ba? So yan yung kailangan natin na tatlo. Okay. So bakit nagkukulay blue? Pag nakabukas, kasi yung oxygen natin. Okay? Sufficient yung oxygen niya para mag-pass through dito. Okay? Pag kasi nakasara yung oxygen niya, dito lang magagaling sa taas. Kaya yellow yung nagiging flame natin. Okay? So pag dito, pag binuksan na natin, sufficient yung flame, mas madaling ma-burn yung fuel natin which is normally butane o kaya LPG. So na burn natin siya lahat kaya yung flame natin na po-produce mas mainit and kulay blue siya. Okay? Daan natin 'yon, no? Ay next natin. Oh. ko lang. Tandaan niyo yung sinabi ko na 'yon. I-record ko din naman, upload ko na lang. Okay. So, alam na natin yung dalawang klase, yung blue at uh, yellow. So, kapag sinabi natin na luminous flame, ito yung kulay dilaw na flame. Okay? So, take down notes nyo, no? Pag sinabi natin luminous flame, dilaw. Yan. Uh, yellow to orange yung nagiging kulay niyan. Kapag non-luminous, yan yung blue or minsan white. O kaya minsan di na natin nakikita. So, yan, no? Mas mainit yung non-luminous na flame kaysa sa luminous na flame. Okay, lagi nating tatandaan 'yon. So halimbawa nag-boil kayo ng test tube. Ito pa. Halimbawa ito 'yung test tube nyo. Okay, so pag nag-boil kayo in a Bunsen burner, ang uh, expect niyo mas mabilis kukulo 'yung tubig, no? In Syempre in blue flame or non-luminous flame. So sa luminous flame naman mas matagal siya. Okay? So ganun lang naman. So, halos parang yun ang sagot. So, sabi ko nga, gusto ko makinig na lang kayo mabuti para sagutin nyo to. And, uh, halimbawa naman, tinapat nyo yung bakal sa luminous and non-luminous flame. Ganon din yung magiging reaction natin dyan. So, mas mabilis, mas mabilis siyang magbaga or maging hot, no? Relative to sa ating tawag dito, sa ating, non sa ating luminous flame or sa yellow flame natin. Ayan. So, hindi na natin ito magagawa kasi nga hindi tayo nakapag-lab. Okay. So, ito na lang yung papasagutan ko. Actually, sa inyo, ano? Yung E and questions. Okay? Sana so, nakikinig kayo. So, E, saka itong questions na lang yung sasagutan naman ninyo for our activity this week. So, color of the flame. Ayan. Sinabi nyo na kanina. Pag, -lu pag luminous, yellow. Nan luminous, blue. Okay. Number of cones. Uh, hindi ko mag-demonstrate sa inyo eh, kasi hindi tayo nakakita ng flame. Pero mamaya may video ako papanood sa inyo para makita ninyo. Degree of hotness. So, syempre, hotter yung non-luminous. Yung, non yung luminous, siya yung hindi ganun kainit compared to non-luminous. Pero mainit pa rin yan. Pa rin yan no? Huwag nyo susubukang hawakan naman. Dahil sinabi ko mas mainit yung kulay blue. Okay. Huwag nyo naman i-try. Please. <laughs> so, safety first. Okay. Nature of air holes. So, yan. Diniscuss ko rin naman kanina, di ba? Kapag nakabukas, ano yung produce nating flame? Kulay blue. Anong kulay? Ay, ano yung blue? Anong klase siya ng flame? Non-luminous. Okay. Product of combustion. Ito. So, medyo complicated to. So, halimbawa, example ko na lang, uh, butane. Uh, C4H10. Ang kanyang, ano, nag-react nag yan with oxygen. So, normally, kapag complete, okay, pag complete ang ating combustion, ang magiging product niyan, carbon dioxide plus water. Oh, ayan, so pag nag-burn pala kayo, nagpo-produce din kayo ng water, no? Hindi nga lang liquid form. Okay, yung G na yan, it means gas. Okay, so pag may S kayo nakita, solid yan. Pag may L, liquid. Kapag may G, gas. Okay? So, ito yung produce natin. Kapag complete yung combustion. Okay, naku, mag na naman ako. So, no, tandaan natin ha. Pag complete ang combustion, ito. Hindi natin nakikita yan. 
So normally, pansin niyo, pag kandila yung ginamit niyo, yellow flame. Di ba may usok, no? O kaya halimbawa kerosene yung gamitin niyo. Gas. Di ba yung mga gasera, yung mga gasera dati, yung mga lola natin, ha ba, gasera yung gamit. Ang napo-produce niya kulay yellow, tapos mausok, di ba? Mapansin natin, mausok siya. Pag tinapat natin sa damit natin, may itim. Ibig sabihin, hindi complete yung combustion. Pero pag LPG yung gamit, hindi yan uusok. Ay, syempre, kung lalagyan nyo na magsisunog kayo ng ibang ano doon, no? halimbawa, magsunog kayo ng mantika, sunog kayo ng papel, uusok yon. Pero kapag LPG lang, puro, wala kayo makikita ang usok dyan. Okay, halimbawa, kayo, siguro, samji, halimbawa, nag-samji tayo. Kapag yung samjian ang ginagamit ay uling, mausok, di ba? Mausok siya. Pag, pag, habang wala pa yung meat, no? Wala pang wala pa yung meat natin. Mausok yun. Pero kapag LPG, yung ating ginagamit, ano, butane, yung parang, ano lang, uh, tawag dito, yung butane na sinasaksakan lang natin, halos walang usok yun, di ba? Kasi complete yung kanyang combustion. So, hindi na natin nakikita yung gas. Hindi na natin nakikita yung gas nun. So, paano kapag incomplete? Ganyan pa rin ba yung ating nauproduce na product? Siyempre, hindi na. Okay? Meron pa rin yan. So, meron pa rin namang carbon dioxide na gas. Meron pa rin water na gas. So, ano yung napoproduce natin na maitim? Diba? Pag kandila kasi, uh, mag magagaan siya, mag-form siya ng soot or ng kulay itim na soot. Ano yung soot na yun? So, any guesses? Baka merong nakakalam sa inyo kung ano yung soot na yun. Ano yung usok? Yan, si Franco. Yes. Yun. Franco. Carbon monoxide po, sir. Actually, yung carbon monoxide, yeah, pwede rin naman siya no, sa incomplete combustion. Pero ano kasi rin siya gas, so hindi rin natin siya makikita, no? Pero thank you, no, for answering. So, meron pa, baka may guess pa kayo, ano pa? Yung possible natin. Kasi malapit na yung sagot ni ano eh, ni may isa na lang natatanggalin doon sa sagot ni Franco. Okay, carbon sige. Po. Yes, carbon. Ayun, carbon siya. Ako, yung, di ba yung carbon natin, solid yan. So, lumulutang yan kapag umuuso kasi very fine yung kanyang particle. Okay, pero actually, solid talaga siya. Okay, so, I hope I na-learn natin, no? So, kapag incomplete, tandaan natin, same yung fuel natin. Same na may oxygen. Tapos, incomplete yung combustion natin. Pwede insufficient yung oxygen natin. Medyo kulang siya. For example nga, kapag nag-experiment tayo na nakatakip yung hole ng ating Bunsen burner, kulay dilaw yan, so nag-produce tayo nito ng karagdagang carbon na solid. Meron din naman tayong carbon monoxide, pero yung nakikita natin na kulay itim na usok is carbon. Halimbawa, di ba sa jeep, minsan maitim yung usok nila. So yung jeep kasi octane. No? Octane yung ginagamit na mostly na gasoline natin sa jeep. So mausok. Pag mausok siya, kulay ng usok niya, itim. So, carbon yun actually. Okay? Kaya nagko-contribute yan sa pollution, no? Kapag, lalo na pag incomplete yung ating uh, combustion. Okay, ayan. So, parang nasagot nyo na, no? Yung ating, etong E. Yeah, diniscuss ko na halos siya. So, I hope na na-take ninyo ng down now notes. Okay, so, in-screenshot nyo to. Kasi kailangan, buburahin ko na siya, no? Ayan. So, ito yung mga tanong. Halos dito lang naman umiikot yung discussion natin. Ayan. Yan lang naman yung diniscuss ko rin kanina. So, ito yung sagutan nyo sa katong letter E. Okay? Huwag na lang ito kasi hindi naman natin na-conduct na itong mga experiment. So, diniscuss ko naman sa inyo. But, ito na lang E saka itong question. No? Pakisagutan na lang. Uh, Naka-upload naman na to dun sa ating, ano, uh, i-open ko na lang kasi hindi pa siya naka-open. Then, mood lang tayo ng ilang video kasi meron pa tayong ilang minutong na titira sa ating, ano, sa ating subject. Okay. 
Ay, sure ko lang, no? Ano lang naman to? Short video lang para makita ninyo. In this video, you're going to learn how to use a Bunsen burner safely and properly. This is a Bunsen burner. It allows you to heat materials in the lab both quickly and efficiently. Because you'll be working with an open flame, it can be dangerous, so I'll start by going over some safety rules. All long hair should be tied back, and you shouldn't wear any loose or bulky clothing. You should never heat inflammable materials on the Bunsen burner. Volatile and inflammable materials like ethers and alcohols can combust in heat, so it's definitely too dangerous for the Bunsen burner. When handling the barrel of the Bunsen burner, it's important to hold it at the bottom. When the flame is lit, it can get very hot any higher up, so doing this regularly will help you to remember to do it. You should never leave your... Okay, yung pala, no? Hindi ko nabanggit kanina. Uh, yung barrel, mainit yun. So kapag nag-use kayo ng burner, doon nyo lang sa collar hahawakan as much as possible. Okay? Kasi medyo mainit dito sa part na taas na to. So dito nyo lang siya igagalawin sa baba. Kasi close siya sa flame. No? Siyempre mas malapit sa flame, doon yung mas mainit na part. Bunsen burner unattended when it's lit. You should make sure you're aware of where all emergency exits and emergency gas shutoffs are. Well, now that you know all the safety precautions, you attach the hose to both the Bunsen burner and to the gas line. Make sure that you attach it to the gas line and not an air or a water line. You'll now want to turn the barrel clockwise to completely close the air inlet. Do this until there's resistance. Now turn it back slightly so just a small amount of air is let through. You'll also want to close the gas needle valve located underneath the Bunsen burner. Do this by turning it completely counterclockwise. Leave this closed for now and turn on the gas. You will know the gas tap is open when the handle lines up with the tap. You'll now want to turn the gas needle valve clockwise slightly to open it. This lets a small amount of gas through. You should be able to hear a faint hissing, which lets you know that the gas is coming out of the burner. The next step is to take your flint and generate sparks over your Bunsen burner. You may want to practice this a few times before you turn the gas on, just like I'm doing. To do this, you want to push up and across. Hold the flint just above the Bunsen burner and generate the sparks. You should now have a flame that's yellow-orange in color. To get a taller flame, turn the gas needle valve clockwise. And likewise, to get a shorter flame, turn it counterclockwise. Once you have your flame at a sufficient height, you'll want to adjust the heat. To make a hotter flame, you'll want to turn the barrel. Do this by holding it at the base. To increase the heat, you'll want to turn the barrel counterclockwise. This should change the color of your flame from yellow-orange to blue. Be careful when handling the barrel at this point because it can get very hot. Only handle it at the bottom. You'll also want to make sure not to let too much air in because this can blow out your flame. You'll know your flame is ready to use when it's dark blue in color with a darker inner core. You'll want to hold your item just above the inner core to be in the hottest location. When you've finished using your Bunsen burner, there's a correct procedure for turning it off safely. First, you'll want to turn your flame back yellow by letting more air in. Do this by turning the barrel, holding the bottom in the clockwise direction. Now you'll want to turn your gas needle valve off completely by turning it counterclockwise. At this point, the flame should go out. Lastly, turn off the gas tap. You've now finished turning off your Bunsen burner, but make sure to let it cool before putting it away. Using a Bunsen burner can be intimidating to even some of the most experienced chemists, but if you follow the instructions and safety protocols that I've taught you, you can always make sure that you proceed with the utmost safety precautions. My job is to make college easier because students have a lot on their 
types of Bunsen burner flames. Flame. In simple terms, a flame is just a mass of burning gases. Now, when you light up a Bunsen burner in the laboratory, you are going to get a possibility of two flames. The first time of type of flame is known as the luminous flame. This type of flame is usually formed when the air hole of the Bunsen burner is completely closed. No air enters the chimney and therefore the flame produced is bright yellow, large and wavy. It gives out a lot of light and therefore it is described as a luminous flame. From the picture you can see that it is really bright. On the diagram you can see it has four zones or regions. The first region is a thin outer zone. This zone is usually mainly composed of gases that are completely burnt because there is a lot of air around the flame. Although it is very difficult to see this part of a flame. Next, we have the blue zone, which is right at the bottom of the flame. Here also there is supply, plenty of supply of air from the bottom that comes in currents like this. And therefore there is almost complete combustion at the blue zone. Next is the almost colorless zone. This is found in the middle part of the flame where no air reaches and therefore it composed mainly of unburnt gases. The bright yellow zone is mainly consists consisting of tiny particles of hot glowing carbon that give out the light. In this zone or region, the air supply is limited and there is incomplete combustion of the gas. The next type of flame is known as the luminous flame that is formed when the air hole is open. This type of flame does not produce much light and it has plenty of supply of air and that's why it is blue in color. It is usually hotter than the luminous flame. The non-luminous flame has three regions. The first one is the pale blue zone. At the pale blue zone, the gases burn completely because there is plenty of supply of air. Next we have the green blue zone. Here we have insufficient supply of air and therefore the gases are partially burnt. Finally we have the almost colorless zone. In this zone we have unburnt gases.
Well, that's it about the luminous and non-luminous flame. Okay, so yun yung last part ng ating discussion for today. So meron ba kayong question?